The much awaited national budget has come to the fore and this time under the theme Reimagining a better future for the youth. Under this motto, the budget put its main emphasis on social and health sector investment as a way to foster unity and build a strong Namibian house. As usual, the education sector continued to receive the biggest chunk of the national budget with an allocation of a combined amount of $17.3 billion. In keeping with the theme of the budget, we have put our money where our mouth is. In channeling the lion's share of the budget, 24.6% to the sector that primarily serves both the youth of today and the youth of tomorrow. Nevertheless, we should never tire to strive for efficiency. And that's my plea to my, to my, to my colleagues. We should never tire to strive for efficiency gains to ensure that such investments are commensurate with better quality outcomes for the benefit of the youth. The Education, Arts and Culture Ministry is given $14.1 billion, while that of higher education, training and innovation received $3.3 billion. Youth, Sports and National Service is allocated $330.9 million, the biggest allocation of which will go towards renovation of the Independence Stadium. Shimi said the ministry's funding is aimed at investing in current and future youth, and central government will try to ensure that these investments bring about quality returns. The sector dealing with public order and security will receive $12.6 billion. Judiciary will receive $369.5 million and a total of $1.1 billion over the MTF period, while the Anti-Corruption Commission receives $62.8 million and $188.5 million over the same period. Specific consideration has been made to ensure that the resources are availed to these votes to ensure speedy access to justice and to support the fight against corruption. Namibia, Namibia remains ranked highly as one of the least corrupt countries on the continent. And we should, and we should, we should all work hard. We should all work hard to maintain and improve this status. The Ministry of Health and Social Services is allocated $8.4 billion. The sizable allocation to the health sector reflects elevated funding requirements in continuing to fight the COVID-19 pandemic to maximize outcomes given, given the severely limited, limited resource envelope the health sector should address inefficiencies and leakages, especially through overpriced services and pharmaceuticals. The Finance Ministry will receive $5.2 billion, while the Agriculture, Water and Land Reform Ministry was availed $1.9 billion. Jeff Tashihomino, NBC News, Venduk.